Hi, I'm Joe O'Brien with Thompson Equipment Company. Uh, we're putting together some videos, and this one is to troubleshoot noisy magmeters. If you have a magmeter that is not flowing steady and, and smooth and it's erratic and jumping around, here's some things to check. This is a Rosemont 87, well, the electronics is an 8712C, and this is a Rosemont 8705. It's a 12-inch. The magnetic flow meter has two coils on the top and the bottom generally and two electrodes. There are other configurations but most of them are like this. The coils you have one and two on a Rosemont which is the coils and then the electrodes are number 16, excuse me, 17, 18, and 19. One and two the electrodes are in series and these are connected to one and two on the uh, 8712C for the Make sure that those are connected and the shield connections, it's important to have twisted pair shielded wire for both the electrodes and the coils because you don't want interference from other sources uh, affecting the, the signal. Anyway, one way to check a magnetic flow meter if you're concerned that the uh, flow meter is, uh, has a, an issue is to disconnect the uh, one and two, the coil connections, use a magnet, the same tool that an electrician uses on an electric motor, and you touch the magnet to one of the coil connections, one or two, and the other side to the pipe or ground or something that you know is a good ground, and you push the test button to check the resistance to ground. It should be off the scale, uh, over 10 megs. If it's less than that, 10 meg ohms. If it's less than that, then you've got the beginnings of a failure, moisture or something is causing coils to start shorting to ground. A lot of times, or not a lot of times, but occasionally there'll be a case where for some, some way or another water gets into the case and it shorts out the coils and that'll be a, a quick check to see if your magmeter is acting crazy because the, the magmeter's performance is directly corresponds to the flux field and that depends upon the cost.